Guys, so I'm gonna just do a little video here on not really a how-to, but just a, I guess a demonstration, if you will, um, from turning uh, this, I guess, blank into something uh, like this. This is a small eating spoon. This is a piece of cherry. So we'll see how it goes. Um, the piece I was using before didn't really turn out. It got uh, split and it split. Uh, through the bowl and everything, so I have to use this for something else, probably like a teaspoon or something. But it's um, not sure if you could see here, but there is a like a, a crevice here, a crevasse, whatever, um, in this. And we'll try to incorporate this. This is just how the wood split when I split it down the middle. We'll try to incorporate this, um, I guess, indentation here uh, into the handle. So we'll kind of see how it goes. I like to improvise a lot of this stuff. I do have a, a, um, you can see it there, uh, an outline, uh, really just more of a guide. So, uh, we'll kind of see how it goes and, uh, see how it turns out. Hopefully this doesn't split the wrong way. Like the last one. There we go. And again, I understand there's different ways of doing this, uh, better ways or whatever, but it's just how I do things. It's not perfect. It's not exact. So we'll kind of give it that hatchet here. Hopefully you guys can see all this a little bit. So I'm just going to knock these sides off here and uh, I'll come back when I have a little bit more done. All right, so uh, I'm going to, so I, I kind of knocked the sides off um, on this. Let me just back this out a little bit here. Um, the handle is not going to be this thick. Uh, you know, I'll pare it down as I go, but I'm going to uh, nail just kind of uh, work on the bowl section here. And I'll do a little bit of that uh, before I cut away and, you know, when I have more progress done, you know, then I'll come back. But I'll, I'll start this a little bit. And this is a piece of cherry. And it's, uh, it's not exactly green. It's, it's pretty dry. But uh, so, you know, we'll see uh, how it goes here. My tool is not the sharpest either, so this is not going to be too great. Ideally, you just want to, you know, if you have a piece of green wood, kind of just carve like this. You know, I, I do this sometimes. Sometimes I'll kind of dig it in. Sometimes I'll use a gouge. This this can take a while, especially if you're not using, um, you know, a piece of green wood. You know, again, this this is really fatigues your hands a lot, um, and most people probably don't carve with, uh, or try not to anyway, with a piece of drier wood. So I'm gonna uh, work on this a little bit, and I'll just get this here. Come back. Oh come back a little bit, uh, come back to this when I'm done, or have a lot more done. Okay. All right, I'm back. So I've made a little bit more progress um, in the bowl here. This is basically going to be like a, uh, I'll call it like a soup spoon, I guess. I have a template that I use, and I have some similar spoons I made before where, so this is kind of more of like a, a soup spoon, I, I suppose, or uh, I'm guessing so. Um, I just wanted to show the progress, and uh, it's gotten a little bit easier to carve. I've removed some of the, I guess, material. This is whew, tough to carve now that it's dry, obviously. Let's 
see that there. Maybe a little bit here. And the great thing about doing these by hand is they're no, not all, or really, I guess, rarely ever going to be perfect or symmetrical. I mean, sometimes you get pretty good, but, you know, I just enjoy doing this, so... Um, they're not all perfect, but and that's kind of the charm about each one, each spoon that you do. So I'm going to work at this a little bit more, and uh, I'll come back when I have some more done. All right, so I'm pretty much uh, done with the bowl. Um, I did add a uh, did this previously, but um, little design element. It's kind of more of like a teardrop. It, it serves no purpose other than for aesthetics. And sometimes I'll just leave like a bowl, you know, a classic style bowl. Other times I'll kind of add a teardrop uh, 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 look to it. So I'm going to work on that a little bit and I'll just start that and try to progress, um, get the right little mini gouge here. I don't know how these little gouges are going to work, but you know, I got these little things. These are for they're very little, but I'm going to try to work on that little part there. Please excuse the sniffing. I have a little cold, so so I'm going to try to. That's not too bad. A lot of the stuff is just taking your time. Can't rush it like I was doing earlier, and you know. Easily mess something up. You cut yourself very easily. I should be wearing my gloves, but what can you do? So I just kind of want this to be a little subtle here. I don't want it to be too crazy. I'm just going to keep kind of gouging. Hopefully, you guys can see what I'm doing here. Yeah. gouge away here and it, I just I just kind of go by feel I you know sometimes I don't really have a plan sometimes I, I have a usually I draw I always draw like a template um, and I just kind of go from there and again sometimes I follow it sometimes I don't um, you know sometimes the wood doesn't let me follow the template exactly so Again, you have to kind of improvise, and there's no right or wrong answer. As long as you have a, you know, a functional bowl, or a spoon rather, and bowl or whatever, um, you know, it's a success, and that's why I enjoy this. So I'm gonna just work at this a little bit more, and I'll come back when I have some more done. All right, guys. So uh, the bowl is done. I did. I did a little bit more of the, uh, I guess, the teardrop, and I brought down a spoon I did a couple weeks ago. This is a piece of poplar with a similar design. I don't know if you can see it here. The, the light here isn't really going to work, I guess, but um, this is just a piece of poplar with that kind of teardrop. I'm trying to get this light is killing me here. Sorry, guys. Um, but anyway, well, I'm not, I'm not really trying to... to replicate each spoon but it, I kind of like the way that looks for the soup spoon so you know once I sand it it'll it'll look a little, little bit more refined refined so what I'm going to work on next is um, just the back here I'm gonna start to uh, with the with the hatchet just kind of uh, shape the um, the uh, underside of the bowl and part of the handle I have to be careful because there's some knots here and those can, uh, if you hit them, they can kind of split the wood, all kind of crazy stuff, which is kind of what happened to this other piece here. Um, but I'm going to work on this nail and show you some of that work and uh, work on that for a little bit. And then um, we'll just kind of go from there, I guess. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Put this out a little bit. Make sure you guys can see. All right, cool. So this is all just kind of freestyle in here. 
again, this stuff can this can easily be done with uh, machines and everything, but it's no fun. So what I'm doing is I'm really just kind of knocking the corners off and just kind of going around the outline and you know again just kind of shaping shaping the bowl here. It's going real slow and steady. And this is where you can build the sweep on the, the top and the bottom and stuff. So, you know, again, it's uh, all about what you want to do here. Let's see here. You guys can see. I don't know if you can see all that well, but... So I'm gonna. Uh, whoops. I'm going to um, cut it here, and then I'll come back when I have a little bit more done. All right, stay with me. All right, guys. So um, I'm back here. I uh, got a lot of the handle. This is not going to be the way the handle looks, or is it even going to be this thick? Um, there's a big giant knot right here that I have to be careful of. Um, so I'm going to just start uh, start start the carving of the handle. I'm just going to really improvise. I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with the handle. If it's going to be kind of flat uh, with just kind of a rounded here. If it's even going to be this long, I'm not really sure. Um, just trying to think about if somebody is eating with this. Well, I guess that's not too bad. I mean. It's pretty long. It's probably about, that's probably total length from here. You know, man, maybe that's about eight or nine inches, maybe nine inches. So that's kind of long. I mean, I might want to cut it, you know, chop it down just a little bit, maybe to like right here. And, you know, I may actually do that. So I don't really know where, where this is going to go, but we're going to start and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll try to get all this in frame here if I can. I did put my gloves on because I cut myself the other day. So we'll see again where we're going to go with this here. And this is really dry. Not really the best, but we'll see. Just going to try to start to pare this down a little bit. I mean, I can, there's a faint line here that I can see Ugh. the, uh, the line that I uh, did initially. So, you know, I'll just kind of work at this a little bit and, uh, you know, again, we'll, oh my God, that is so hard. Jesus. It's kind of getting there. I mean, this is going to be really pretty when it's done. I know that. All this work is going to be really worth the effort. I mean, you can see some of that grain in there. Usually what I find on pictures and video, this, you know, when you do the spoons, the, the grain, it's hard to um, see how beautiful the wood is on a video or a camera. You have to see it in person, really. So... I'm going to work at this a little bit and, uh, God, man, and, uh, kind of see how it, uh, progresses here. And, uh, I'll come back in a little bit when I have a little bit more done. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been working on this for a little bit now. Um, just kind of shaping the bottom of the bowl here, I'm trying to get it to where it's uh you know not too thick someone goes to put this in their mouth this is a process that can take a while i was actually using the shave horse because this wood is 
a pain in the ass to carve, but again, I know it's going to be very beautiful when it's all said and done. So I just kind of wanted to show the progress. I'm still working on the handle. And, uh, oh no. Let's see here. Oh, okay, stupid phone. All right, so anyway, I'm going to pause this. I got to charge this phone here, and then uh, I'll be right back. I can stop this. <laughs> there we go. All right, so now you can't see anything. So I'm going to finish this a little bit more, and then I'll come right back. All right, so get the flash on this thing if I can. Uh, I guess we're not going to be able to do the flash. Okay, so here is the finished spoon minus the sanding. It's hard to tell what it really looks like, but um, I'll try to get out of the uh, light here. So I kept the, I guess the knot, I guess. I don't know where the, I don't know. But so it's done. I have to sand it and oil it. And it'll be a nice little soup spoon for somebody. So here's the, get that there. Oh man, sorry, my camera work. I'll get better, but camera work is horrible right now. See that? Oh God. So anyway, that's it. Uh, it's done. Thanks for staying with me and catch you next time.